Hello and welcome to NBA Talk with Jordan Valdez. First things first, let's get to today's matchups. Our first matchup is Eddie House versus Rodriguez Bubo. Eddie House um, is the is the um, third string uh, point guard uh, for the uh, Miami Heat. He can also play shooting guard. Rodriguez Bubo is a um, third string. Um, point guard for the Dallas Mavericks. Um, Rodriguez Bubos has very much impressed me when he's gotten playing time. Eddie House, um, he doesn't have much uh, else, but what he does that I love is that every time he gets out on the floor, even though he doesn't get much playing time, he'll stroke that three for you. He is one of the best three-point shooters in the league right now. Um, I, it amazes me how fast he knocks those down. Um, uh, uh, I'm going to give this matchup to Eddie House. I think Rodriguez Bubos might have more, might be a little more versatile, but Eddie House, um, the way he hits those threes um, gives him the edge there. Um our next matchup is Carlos Boozer versus Josh Smith. Carlos Boozer is the starting power forward for the Chicago Bulls, and Josh Smith is the starting power forward for the Atlanta Hawks. Um, Carlos Boozer played with Derrick Rose in Chicago this year. Um, he uh, played with Utah with Darren Williams last season, So he, uh, and... Um, with LeBron James in Cleveland even before that, and um, Mo Williams was in Cleveland when Carlos Boozer was there. So Carlos Boozer has definitely had um, his share of playing with uh, great point guards. Uh, Mo Will First Mo Williams, um, who was an all-star a few years ago, then Darren Williams, another all-star point guard, and then... Um, Obviously, now Derrick Rose, who was the M who was not only an All Star uh, two years in a row now, uh, but he was the MVP this season. Uh, so Carlos Boozer um, is the uh, again starting power forward for the Chicago Bulls. He's six foot nine. He's a great inside presence. He he bangs in the boards and stuff. Um, Josh Smith is a uh, great dunk. He's known for his dunks and blocks. He's uh, he he's he might be the most entertaining player on the Atlanta Hawks. Um, you, you know the Atlanta calls the their arena Phillips Arena. They call it the Highlight Factory, and really uh, a lot of the reason for that is because of Josh Smith. He when he throws down those dunks on people, he 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 just I mean he he doesn't dunk as much as Blake Griffin does, obviously, but um, he does throw down a lot of dunks, and uh, he's a great shot blocker. Um, blocks, blocks a lot of shots. Um, yeah, I'm going to give this matchup to, I'm actually going to give this matchup to Josh Smith, and I'll tell you why. He, um, you, it makes you, even if you're not as good as someone else, it makes you look so much better if you have more, uh, style to your playing, um, so Josh Smith, he's doing all he's throwing down all these dunks. He's uh getting he's getting all these blocks. He blocks everybody's shots, and um it makes him more entertaining to watch than Carlos Boozer, and that that makes me give the matchup to Josh Smith. All right, next thing we gotta talk about this. We must talk about this. Game six of the NBA Finals. Dallas versus Miami. This was at the American Airlines Arena in Miami, Florida. Um, Miami trailed uh, three to two going into this game, so this was a winner go home situation, a must win for the Heat. Um, the Heat replaced um, Mike Bibby in the starting lineup with Mario Chalmers, and again Rick Carlisle opted to start uh, JJ Barea over Deshaun Stevenson. The final score of the game was 105 to 95 Mavericks. The Mavericks, the Dallas Mavericks, won the NBA championship last night. Um, leading scorer for the Mavericks was Jason Terry off the bench, who scored 27 points on 11 of 16 field goal shooting. Uh, that was pretty amazing. Dirk Nowitzki, 
was their second leading scorer. He scored 21 points, but on an almost nauseating 9 of 27 uh, field goal shooting, uh, which doesn't look too good. Uh, that's that's only a 33% um, uh, field, field goal um, percentage. But when you do that in one game on the... Um, when it comes out as that on the um, on the box score, it does it does it looks even worse than it is. So um, JJ Barea had 15 points for the Mavericks. He was pretty big. Um, like like I said, he was the he was the starting he started at guard uh, tonight over Deshaun Stevenson. Uh, for for the Heat, who uh, LeBron James uh, has been to the finals twice in his. Uh, career. He's been in the league since 2003, been to the finals twice, and both times he has lost in the finals. Um, he had, LeBron had 21 points tonight on nine of, uh, last night, uh, my bad, on nine of 15 uh, field goal shooting and two of five three point uh, shooting. Um, uh, there were four starters uh, for the Heat that were in double figures. LeBron James with 21 points, Chris Bosh with 19 points, Dwayne Wade with 17 points, and Mario Chalmers with 18 points. Um, both Udonis Haslam and Eddie House were uh, big off the bench. Uh, Udonis Haslam had 11 points, and Eddie House came in, got 21 minutes and 8 seconds after not playing in the first five finals games. Uh, this season, um, he had nine points. Um, I think that um, Eric Spolster wanted to use Eddie House in this game because Eddie House is one of the three players on the Heat that uh, has a ring, so he knows what it's like. Uh, Eddie House won a ring with Boston um, in 2008. Uh, Mike Bibby, who has been starting in the finals so far, uh, did not play. Um, he, he had a DMPCD, did not play coach's decision. And, um, yeah, uh, Mike Miller came off the bench, uh, and so did Jawan Howard. Uh, they, they, um, the, the two of them and Udonis Haslam and Eddie House, obviously, um, those four were the only, um, bench players that came off the bench for, um, Miami. You would have thought that even though Mike Bibby didn't start, that they might have taken him, uh, um, they, uh, that Eric Spoelstra might have played him, but he didn't. And um, the four bench players that played for the they uh, the Dallas Mavericks only used four players as well. The four players that played for them were Brian Cardinal, Jason Terry, Ian Mahinmi, and Deshaun Stevenson. Uh, you know, uh, Rick Carlisle was um, using Paige Stoyakovich a lot earlier and in the earlier rounds of the playoffs. He used him a lot, but he, he's been playing Brian Cardinal instead. Uh, at, as of late in the finals, um, yeah. So the again the Dallas Mavericks beat the Miami Heat 105 to 95 to win their their NBA championship. Uh, Dirk finally got a ring. They got revenge on the Heat uh, for that 2006 uh, NBA championship that when the Miami Heat beat the Dallas Mavericks. Um, thank you for watching NBA Talk, and I will see you next.